Garber has scored in double digits in all but one game this season as that offensive push was needed on Friday night against Central. He'd score first for his Hornets, however, that was outshined by Central's Lucas Mushrush, who exploded for 11 first quarter points. Nine of those were from the perimeter as the Vikings overwhelmed the visitors. Of the five triples in the first, Anthony Jones had two, giving his team a 21 to 11 advantage after one. Demetric Harris would be the only Emmaus player to score in the second with six of his total 15 points. However, the Vikings would stay one step ahead with six from Nico Polari and head into the lockers up 29 to 17. Lucas Mushrush would bank his fourth triple of the game to start the third quarter. The sophomore would finish with 18 points as Central built out their lead 36 to 17. Will Barber would put away three of his 15 to cut the deficit to 14 headed into the fourth, where Emmaus would muster up a comeback. An 11 to 1 run powered the Hornets back into the contest as Barber and Harris combined for 12 points. The surge that brought Emmaus within six was short-lived as Polari had six of his game leading 19 points to push the lead back into double digits for good. Central takes down Emmaus with a final score of 51 to 39. We've been playing really tough. Our coaches have been pushing us in practice, helping us prepare for the games. We've been really stressing offense and defense both and we're just getting better as a team as a whole and that's what we're going to continue to do in order to win these late game late game situations and help us in the playoffs. The Vikings beat Emmaus three times last season and weren't about to break that streak. Now they knew they were capable of a comeback, having seen it from them before this season, but they kept their composure, stayed in front and handed the Hornets their first EPC loss of the year. We knew we had to stay composed because we, ref we referred back to the, the game when Emmaus played Parkland and they actually came back in the fourth quarter. So we, we knew that was going to be an issue coming to the game. We knew we had to stay composed for all 32 minutes of the game. And I think what, what sparked us was we kept our composure in the fourth. We were able to move the ball pretty well. And we weren't forcing anything. We were taking good shots in the end. So that really helped us. And it's a big win for us. You know, we established our spot in the District 11 playoffs this game. You know, we're guaranteed a 500 season, but we, we want more than that. We started off the season 0-4. And, and this, is a great, this is a great win for the team. At Rockney Hall, I'm Gwen Begley for the Service Electric Network.